Hand had been on the podium every time, all four times this series, and they're up against a USA side who, well, they've struggled with. USA are unbeaten in six of the last ten, six of the last eight against Argentina. This series has been no different with a 21-all draw in Dubai and a 24-17 win for USA in Malaga. These are the runners and the riders who will be competing for the fifth place position. They'll have had ambition to be in the cup final. There's no medals on offer here, but there are 13 valuable World Series points available to both these sides who are trying to chase down South Africa at the top. Well, the calm before the USA versus Argentina storm. It has been a fabulous weekend sevens, and this day two has delivered in spades. Argentina versus the USA. And Argentina led out by Gaston Revol. Who else? The evergreen, the timeless Gaston Revol. And look at some of those scouts. South Africa, Scotland and Wales, edged out by New Zealand didn't bring their best against the supercharged Australia but that match against South Africa was war and the USA well they were the streak snappers weren't they they beat South Africa first so these two teams have something in common they've got the best over the best in the world at the moment and a man from South Africa Borne Ferreira will be officiating Terry Baker He's back on song, he's back scoring tries, and Kayvon Williams has got the swagger. Get ready for a titanic battle of two sides who do not give an inch. <laughs> Revol nice and high, good competition Ooh. in the air. Seems to have been taken out, and the worrying thing is that Macy O'Brien hasn't got up. Yeah, there's contact in the air there, which is allowed. And this is exactly why, because it's dangerous. Look, he has unable to land. He's got his eyes on the ball all the way. Felipe de la Vega. And that player is protected in the air. So lucky maybe to get away with only a penalty and not a yellow card. Well, as is the USA's way, always happy to chew off a chunk of touchline from the boots from a penalty and present themselves with an opportunity to go to their ever dependable set piece Tala, Talapusi wearing 10 Balao Nua not starting this one he's been the linchpin all weekend but we get a chance to see the man in the number 10 jersey we've seen a lot of Kayvon Williams scoring freely only one match that he hasn't scored in in fact that was the defeat against Ireland Juggle from Ben Brossel. Oh, no. Picked off opportunistically, and it looked like a bit of a clumsy challenge. Hope he gets up okay. Gonzalez, Gonzalez. He is a bull of a man, isn't he? Two USA <coughs> players required to halt him. And they have to do it illegally so as well. Such is the power in the man. Argentina, they sniff a try. Lovely footwork. Oh, and he's wriggled free. Felipe Del Mestre in to open the scoring. Yeah, just reward for the Argentinians. Pounding away. That's the big hit. He did well to get up from that. Did Santiago Verafel, but he won the ball back for his team. And they turned that turnover fairly immediately into an opportunity for Del Mestre. Coming hard off that left foot. Yeah, nice balance running from him, protecting the ball, and lifting the heels right to the end. First score, Argentina. Del Mestre, more than just a try scorer, he stood in and took the captaincy in Gaston Revol's absence when he was injured in Malaga. And the man who plucked off the ball in the USA midfield, Santiago Feld has converted and Argentina lead by seven points. Good competition in the air. It's gone forward off an Argentinian hand, though. 
chance for the USA to play with the ball. Yeah, kickoffs as we're going to find out in the bronze and the gold medal matches. Just a key for teams to get points on the board, get possession. Then Brassell, no problem at scrum time, the former wrestler we've spoken about it. The UCLA Bruin. The USA possess mountainous men. Joe Schrader, Ben Brassell. You would not like to pack down and stare at those two men in the eyeballs. So that's the task for Argentina. Somewhat different college careers. They bobble the ball. <laughs> Referee's played advantage. And it's popped up. I think it's going to be Luciano Gonzalez, is it? Yes, it is. Luciano Gonzalez. Well, he's been well tethered by opposition today, but finally he gets his try. The tries that he absolutely loves. Well, we were going to talk about the Americans, but they bobbled the ball. Uncharacteristic. Kayvon Williams just spilled it. I and mean, then look at that tone edge and look at this total concentration. He loves it. He loves scoring tries, the Bulldog. Those bulging eyes are for one thing only, his unquenchable thirst for tries. There we see the line breaks from Argentina, potent in attack. We spoke about Spain, they're behind them. Perry Baker launched very very high it's all rather messy and usa come away with the penalty well, the former arena football wide receiver i don't know how wide you can get in arena football but tried to take that with one hand he's fortunate us will have a chance two tries down big responsibility for tala talapusi here today in his sixth event yeah, the man from Hayward, California, He's got a bright future. He's been in the program for a while, but not had a ton of opportunity. He's been in the program since he was 18 years old. He gets his crack against a hugely competitive Argentinian side, and Kayvon Williams has a juggle initially. Looks isolated, and Gonzalez showing what he can do on the ball. Strong man, Gonzalez usually used for skittling defenders out of the way, but this time clamping down onto the ball. And Argentina, they love a bit of contact. Joaquin de la Vega on that occasion. Raval, a bit more of an artist. Gonzalez, yes, I'll take a little bit of contact. Thank you very much. I'll swap you aside. But he has the wherewithal to find the pass, and Argentinian jerseys are pouring through into the USA backfield. Lovely invention on the pass. And all of that play almost creates the opportunity, not forward from Argentina. Bodies everywhere, scattered defenses. Who's going to capitalize? It looks like it will be the good old US of A. Ben Brussel pins his ears back and he wrestles back a little bit of control in this match. Well, a great moment for Ben Brazel. He's totally committed to this program. There it's spilled. And the awareness of the Americans to pick the ball up, keep it alive. And Ben Brazel is, is quite reckless in a way. He's so physical, so impactful. And Mike Friday worries because he keeps getting injured. He's come off a wrist injury. But he's fought those battles. And this is a nice moment for him to run one in 90 meters in Singapore. A little bit of a slippage in his grasp as he approaches the line. He points to that wrist that you mentioned. <laughs> no worries there when it comes to the process of putting the ball down. Three seconds left of the first half. Argentina leading 14 points to five. Talapusi. Can't make the 10, it goes out on the full. Argentina will get a free kick from the middle. One last chance to build a bit more score. Thankfully, we don't have a camera on Mike Friday because that man, Revol, and the Argentinians make a habit of punishing mistakes like that. We should have a camera on Mike Friday. It is an entertaining watch. But there'll be animation of displeasure, as you said, because it's presented 
Argentina with one last opportunity to get another try. They have two already. One of them through Luciano Gonzalez. He's on the ball. He shows a lightness of feet to find a way through the gap. On the arch, Bazan Valles. Gaston Rival. Gaston Rival. Nice interplay, Gonzalez, he's only got one thing on his mind, but he's shut down by Maceo Brown. Good retention from Argentina, options are plenty now. Oh. Wriggles free, and that is Tobias Wade across the line and scoring. Argentina punish the USA from their kickoff error. Well, we talked about it. They're not going to let him off the hook. And the time had expired for the first half. But the Argentinians, through Tobias way, just kept pounding away. And the humidity here allowed him to slip under that tackle. And now, let's see the reaction. Yeah. What did we say? <laughs> that is some of the finest pieces of camera work we've seen this weekend. And that is fine play from Argentina, who now the conversion. And they lead the for the USA Eagles. Can he be the difference? Or will that man wearing 11, Luciano Gonzalez, continue to be the difference? There's Esdale. <coughs> Big driver for him joining this USA 7 team as his mum going to the Olympics. From a family of athletes, he wants to get to that next one in Paris. A lot of sevens to play first, though. A lot of destinations around the world, including Vancouver next week. And this man, if he keeps running this fast, can go all the way to Vancouver. Drag down, short line, uncompromising line, some footwork. And he wants to go all alone. And do you know what? He'll get there. Agustin Fraga in the tries again. Santiago Gomez's Coraz, Argentina scored in the last second of the first half and the first 30 seconds of the second half. And that is why this fifth place is going to go to them. What a finish. Really good chase, to be fair, from Lucas Lacap. All of them working hard for each other, powering through the legs. And fitness, not an issue here. Game six in two days. Agustin Fraga as we watch the conversion sail over from Telemestre. It's been a real find this weekend. That's try number four. Big frame of a boy. And he's got a nose for the try line as well. Thank you. Yeah, Fraga, just 20 years old. It's so effective out there. 20 years old and tearing up trees. Lucas Lecamp there. Argentina test the middle. But the camp goes up highest. Get the ball back. That was the message from Mike Friday. They haven't had any of it so far in this second half. And the ball they do have is under extreme pressure from a pressing Argentinian defense. Gaston Revol with the turnover, holding on. Here comes Marcos Moneta. Argentina are really in the mood and it's happening all too easy for them now. Herman Schultz in on the act. Oh, the veteran comes off the bench. He's been watching a lot this weekend. That's Pumas starting to dance because this one is in the bag. Five minutes to play with just relentless pressure. The Americans falling off a few tackles and that's not like them again. Another reason coach won't be happy. <coughs> Poor Mikey. <coughs> the extras added, well, two very different coaches in two very different mental spaces. A man who scored so many tries for Argentina, now the mastermind for his young men scoring them for him. Yeah, he and his brother, fantastic contributors to Argentina's cause on the field, but off the field, as you see, since 2013. He's been pulling the strings. Magnificent take from Joe Schrader. Schrader still going before he finds the offload. USA really need to risk it now. 
They need a try. Oh, and oh, oh, fantastic. Exceptional footwork from Demonte Noble, who's been a super sub for the USA all weekend. A solo effort. It was great work from Strader. We've talked about Ben Brazil's wrestling scholarship. Well, Strader was on a full ride cheerleading scholarship. But Demonte Noble, the man, he's been working with the Falcons, the Kutztown player, college All-American. And Mike Friday decided him as having, described him as having dirty feet. And that was just exceptional stepping there to get the try. It doesn't get filthier than that from Demonte Noble. I mentioned he was a super sub. It was his beautiful offload off the floor to Perry Baker that was the try that ended South Africa's unbeaten run late into day one trying to affect a turnover there but no joy foot to the floor marcos moneta leaves the usa defense grasping at mere memories of the man well moneta by his standards has been relatively quiet this weekend they haven't needed him up until this point Fantastic finishing by him. Again, only 22 years old, so, so what a great future for this Argentina Sevens program. It is a thing of beauty watching Marcos Moneta in full flow. And this Argentinian side are really in full flow. And of course, last year, his epic year named World Rugby Men's Sevens Player of the Year. He had an extraordinary Olympic Games in Tokyo. Quieter this weekend in Singapore, but still among the tries. And look at those filthy feet. Oh, Argentina just cannot handle the footwork of Demonte Noble. What a pleasure. He's six foot two, but he, he dances like he's five foot six. The combination of the hard stepping and the pace to finish it off. You love to see it. Demonte Noble making a star turn in this second half for the USA. 42 17. Kickoff doesn't go to plan again. Somebody give it to Demonte Noble. <laughs> Early, Talapusi, that's for the second time. His kick not quite getting in there. Well, look at that sheer scoreboard dominance. Were it not for Demonte Noble, it would be painting a rather dark picture for the USA. They had to dig very, very deep to beat Samoa to earn the right to come to this fifth place final. 13 HSBC World Series <laughs> points on the line. Franco Sabato. Oh, I love what it. I love an it. incredible kick from Del Mestre. The finishing touch isn't added. Fiercely contested at the breakdown, as always. Late tackle. Demonte Noble. Thought he was going to pick it up and go for a quick tap. There is urgency about the USA play. They want to end this game with as many points as they can. They won't be enough to win. Tackle! Well, feel for these players. Really hot, humid conditions in Singapore. They've kept going right to the end. Good step from Gavin Dumore. He's run out of support. I think he's going to get there. He is going to get there. The stuttering, the stopping, the restarting is enough to deceive Marcos Moneta. Gavin Demore wraps up the try scoring proceedings in this fifth place final. Only consolation for the USA though, because they have been well beaten by a fired up Los Pumas. The final score here, Argentina 42, the USA. 24.